It wasn't like I went running to the cops. You lied to me, and then you got in a car with Garrett Reynolds. I saw you. I didn't want you to worry. I thought if you knew that I was talking to the police, you would Why him? Garrett was Ian's friend, and he's been really kind to me since the funeral. He checks in on me, he takes me to the doctor when he can, and I needed someone to talk to. About what? About Ian. I still don't believe that I married the guy who was capable of killing Allison. The night of the funeral, I wanted to talk to you about this. I've been holding on to this, this feeling that something was wrong ever since then. So you went to Garrett about it last night? I did, but I think it was a mistake. I shared a lot with him. Maybe too much. Like what? Do you remember that summer? It seemed like mom and dad were constantly fighting. The day Allison went missing, it stopped. And I don't think it was a coincidence. Dad, he had a, a really strange reaction when he heard the news. It was, it was almost like he was relieved. I'm listening, go on. One night before she disappeared, I came home late. Dad was up, something was bothering him, but I didn't notice at first. I was a wreck myself. I had caught Allison flirting with Ian again. I, I sent texts to Allie, telling her to back the hell off. I told Dad everything. I didn't know what else to do. Did you sign these texts? I didn't have to. She knew who they were from. Yeah, so what did, what did Dad say? Nothing. He just had this look. Like he supported me. And you told us to care. Ugh. I never should have opened up to him. I was just venting, trying to sort through my feelings. This is not good. Why? Melissa, we're not the only people who know about Jason. Dad might have been blackmailed. What? By who? Allison. Jason found cash, a lot of it. Allie was hiding it, and, and I asked Dad about it, the blackmail. And he told me that he never paid Allison a cent. Do we believe that? 